What's good? What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Investment Trade with Jack. So I'm going to quickly go over to Centraline. We're up on our trade. Currently, we're sitting at $2.70. We're up about 1% on the day. We're sitting at market cap $4.88 billion, 24 hour volume, $560 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app. Just got my haircut looking fresh. $5 haircut here in Ghana. <laughs> uh, the world's fastest crypto growing app. Grab one of the incredible Visa cards, cash back in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime, Travel Incentives. $25 just for signing up through my referral. So we had our first two entries, 263, 242, break even, 252. So I did call a 50% exit on mana. Uh, currently, it's up about 5%. At the peak here, probably about 7-8%. And the reason I called an exit is because if we look here on the four hour time frame, you can see we have trended towards overbought on the money flow as well as the RSI. If we quickly pop over the hourly time frame, take a look at our indicators here. All right, my internet's being a bit slow today. My apologies. Wow, this is brutal. My indicators aren't even showing up. <laughs> All right, so bearish divergence, as you can see here, we're creating higher highs, we're creating lower highs. Early signal, the bulls are running out of strength, and we could definitely see some pullback. So if we do see that pullback, then the first buy zone is the break even at 252, close 50%. It comes back down. You break even on the rest of your trade, and you instantly re-enter. As you can see here, bearish divergence on the money flow as well. Now, if we jump over to the daily time frame, we have broken out of a large falling wedge pattern, and we're currently back above the 55 E. EMA. So we are in a technical target up to about $3.48. So if you're looking for a little breakout trade here, what you can do is wait to see the 20 EMA comes up. You have the bullish cross if we can hold this level of support. And that's a beautiful entry and you can ride it up to this swing high here. It could be a nice trade opportunity of about 31%. If you're trading the breakout you got in on this falling wedge, currently up about 11%, all the way up to the technical targets, about a 45% trade. If you want to trade with me, sign up to Bybit. $4,100 in bonuses for a limited time. And you can see here, we're coming up and we're hitting resistance on the 0 0.382. So you know the crucial level we need to get back above on this channel is the golden ratio coming in at about 297. Get back above that higher likelihood you're coming up to the top of this falling wedge. Get back above that you target the 1.618 coming in at about $4.82. As you can see here we had a symmetrical triangle ABC correction met the target found a strong level of support and it looks like we may be starting to see a little bit of recovery here. Let's look at the weekly time frame quickly. Um, a little bit itchy from the from the shave <laughs> so here we are on the weekly money flow all the way back down to the bottom section that is usually when you're going to see a bounce as you can see right here money flow bottom section beautiful bounce back to the upside so we're starting to see money flow back into mana here on the weekly time frame so we could definitely see a nice little bounce over the next few weeks that's pretty much it for mana in the short term we could definitely see some pullback down to this buy zone here at 252 and we re-enter our trade equal amounts at each buy zone brings your average price down halfway each time if if you're low leverage trading definitely recommend two to three x i like to use two x leverage i'll throw my trade up on the screen i got in a little bit lower with this mana position here um, but when you're using low leverage you have to double your margin 500 500 1000 2000 and once you hit your third and fourth buy zone it brings your average price down more than halfway you get ready to ride the slingshot back up spot trading equal amounts brings your average price down halfway each time it's all explained in the discord uh, looks like we have a bearish divergence on the money flow as well as you can see here we created a higher high while money is flowing out which is the early indicator that you may see some pullback of course anything can happen in the crypto space if we do see continuation maybe have a little bit of a bull flag here um, you can measure your flagpole let me do this quickly here measure your flagpole take it to your point of breakout and could take you all the way up past 280 all the way up to about 288 that's it for mana shout out to the discord over 1800 members posting chart patterns talking all things crypto the dca trade strategy fully explained the dca charts for the live trades on the channel just took a 50 percent exit today on mana um, ada xrp we've been taking profits over the last couple days re-entering our trades and we have buy zones that are updated regularly if you're looking to dollar cost average into your position or entries and exits it's based off support resistance Fibonacci price of a coffee if you want to trade with me sign up to buy bit and if you want to keep up with my personal life follow me on Instagram that's it for this one all right much love take care